Hello everyone. I thought I'd make a quick little series because I just finished my uh, final exam in analysis in one variable. Uh, I think you Americans would call it uh, calculus two, I think. Maybe it's like one and two grouped together. Anyway, and this exam was a bitch. It was like 10 times harder than all the past ones. So I thought I'd share all the solutions and the problems with you. So, okay. Now we have problem number one, and I'll put it up on, this, up on the screen. And so as you can see, there is, we have a function. It is arctan x plus ln of x squared plus one, everything to the power of three halves, and then divided by x squared. And we are supposed to sketch, sketch this graph, find any asymptotes, and find out how many uh, roots this function have. So, okay, what the fuck do we do? Firstly, we can simplify. We shall use some uh, logarithmic rules right here. So arctan, of course, uh, stays the same, but we can split this up into, okay, so we have ln something over something, then it's the, uh, denominator minus the numerator and then we have a power so we can move that in front so we have uh, plus three halves of ln ln x squared plus one and then we have minus ln of x squared which is just two ln of the absolute value of x okay so now yeah, that's good. Now we made a little simplification. Actually, if we if we didn't move the, the two outside, if we just had an L and X squared, then it would be really easy to see that this part here is uh, always greater than zero. We will not use uh, this right now, but it's just a fun fact that we'll use use later. So immediately one would uh, realize that, okay, since, since this is always positive and arctan is positive when x is positive and negative when x is negative, then we know that there cannot be any solutions on with positive x's. We have to look at negative x's to find any solutions. But as I said, we will get to that later. And now to sketch this graph, we also we need a, an idea of how the derivative looks. So let's differentiate. Uh, so we have that f prime of x is equal to 1 over 1 plus x squared, that is arctan's derivative, and then plus L 3 halves ln of x2 plus 1. So we get 1 over x2 plus 1, and then multiplied by the inner der derivative, which is 2x, so the 2s cancel out. So we just get plus uh, 3x over x squared plus 1, or 1 over x squared. Uh, and then we get a 2 minus 2 over x. And again, we can simplify this. So, okay, we will add these up. Okay, so we, we see that the, the denominators are, sorry, numerators are identical, so we can just add them. And since x is not a factor of x squared plus 1, then we need to multiply all this by x, and we need to multiply all this by 1 plus x squared for everything to be on the same uh, division. Yes, uh, so then, okay, x, x times x squared plus 1, that is x3 plus x. And then here, okay, so we have 1 plus 3x times x. So there we'd have 3x squared plus x and then minus 2 times x squared plus 1. So that is just minus 2x squared minus 2. And then we move things around. So we just get, okay, we get just get x squared plus x minus 2 over x3 plus x. And now 
we look at this function right here on top. Or no, now, now we make a table of signs. So um, give me one second. So I'm back. Okay, so now we have this function here. We want to, you don't necessarily need to graph this function, uh, even though, well, yeah, of, yes, yes, we will, we will graph this function. Okay, so firstly, uh, let's note that this function here can be, uh, can be factorized as x. Since, okay, since 1 is a solution, then we have, okay, so we have minus 1 and x plus 2, which makes perfect sense. And this thing here, we will, of course, we can write it as x times x squared plus 1. So what do we see here? Okay, we know that when x is 1, then the function is 0 when x is, and the same for minus 2. And when x is 0, uh, it is undefined, meaning it tends to infinity around, around 0. So, as I said, okay, let's do a table of signs here. Okay, so we have uh, x squared. I can just write. Uh, write them together. We're not, you're not that dumb. Um, squared, and then we have uh, x times x squared plus 1. And we can note that this thing here, this parenthesis, is always positive. So, what we will have here is that we have a negative, our relevant numbers are minus 2, 0, and 1, right? So, this, since it's uh, the second derivative is uh, strictly positive, meaning it's it's a happy parabola. Uh, we know, and the solutions are 1 and minus 2. So therefore, we know that this is positive, 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 0, negative, 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 all the way to zero, 1, where it's 0, and then it's positive again. And with this, since this parenthesis here doesn't matter, this is just the same as x. So it's, it's minus, minus as long as x is minus, and then it's 0 at 0, and then it's positive. So therefore, we know that our f prime of x, this function down there, this divided by that, is therefore, so here it is a negative, here it is 0, here it's positive, here it's undefined. You can write an x, you can draw a skull or something, I don't know. Uh, and then here it's negative, here it's zero, and then it is positive. So this is what our, what we can say about our f prime. So if we were to sketch this real quick, uh, we would note that, okay, the limit as x tends to positive or negative infinity is obviously zero. So it has some kind of uh, asymptote with uh, x equals 0. And then it's also undefined at 0. So it has a vertical asymptote at, at uh, yeah, x, x equals, sorry, I said x equals 0 before. I meant y equals 0. Now here it has a vertical asymptote at x equals 0. And it is, uh, the function value is 0 for minus 2 and 1, and then we know that it's, okay, it's negative, and then it's positive, and then it's negative, and then it's positive. So the function graph probably looks something like this. Tends to infinity there. Shit. Uh, and then it comes back over here, and then it does something like this. Yes. So that's my guess on how this function looks like. And now remember, this this is the derivative of the function. So we are not done. We're absolutely not done. So from this, we can also say that our function f 
of x is, okay, it's decreasing, then it turns, so it's increasing, and then it's undefined, and then it's decreasing, and then it turns, and then it's, and then it's increasing. Okay, so our graph looks something like this. Okay, let's uh, recall what the function actually was. Uh, it was arctan, arctan of x. Wait, I can write it down here. Um, it was arc in our simplified form, of course. Arctan of x plus 3 halves of ln of x squared plus 1. And then minus 2 ln of absolute value of x. Yes. Okay, so I said this is our function and that is what the derivative looks like, kind of. So since we can see here that it's positive and then it's undefined and then it's negative, that means, and kind of makes sense because we're only, we're dealing with, with squares here everywhere. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna rewrite this. Uh, Okay, so this is just normal parentheses, or it doesn't matter, really. Yeah. So now it's just minus ln x squared. How does this look? This tells us that... Sorry, I walked out of the frame. This tells us that... Okay, if we need to look for zeros, we first need to conclude where, where we should look to find them. So, uh, one would intuitively note down that uh, the limit as x tends to uh, positive or negative infinity of uh, f of x. Okay, so what do we have here? Okay, we, we put in any kind of infinity. We only have squares. So, okay, it's kind of the same except for arctan, but that doesn't really matter because it's only between negative and positive pi half. So, and of course, ln as x turns to infinity, ln tends to infinity, so this would just be positive infinity. Okay, well that's good, well, and, and it kind of makes sense here, okay, so we know that, okay, because this will just continue on up to infinity, and it will, uh, and this will also continue up to infinity that way. So therefore we know that these two Okay, so here we have some kind of infinity, and here we have positive infinity. So the zero line is, well, what is relevant to look at is if these, these uh, minimum points here are less than zero. We need to note down that the limit as uh, x tends to zero of uh, f of x, what is that? Well, okay, we put in zero, then we just get, okay, zero, zero, I'm oh, sorry, one, which is then zero, and ln zero, okay, yeah. We get infinity from both sides because it's, we get positive infinity from both sides because it's an x squared. So now, okay, we know that it tends to infinity at zero, at x is equal to positive and negative infinity. So therefore, we only need to look at these two minimum points. Or actually, as we stated earlier, we don't need to look at this minimum point because that is greater than zero and we already stated that it can't, there cannot be any solutions with x greater than zero. So the only thing we have to look at here is negative two. And if it turns out, that negative 2 is less than 0, then we know that we have two solutions because we know it tends to infinity at 0. And uh, if it's larger than 0, then we know that it has no solutions or roots, you could say. So yes, uh, give me one second. So actually, we don't need that much space because we're basically done. So now we just need to find out, okay, what is f of negative 2? f of negative 2 is equal to, 
arc tan of negative 2, which is just negative arc tan of uh, 2, because uh, arc tan is symmetric function. And then we have plus ln of, okay, so we had x squared, okay, it's 2, so then it's 4 plus 1, that's 5, everything to the power of 3 over 3 over 2, and then over just x squared, which is then 4. And this, as was stated in the, in the problem, uh, we can just assume that, okay, so it said that, okay, arc tan of 2 is greater than ln of this thing here, so therefore we know that this is less than 0. So our, our uh, f has two roots, and now we just need to sketch it. So, okay, so we know that it has two roots, both at around uh, negative 2, kind of close it should be, and then it has no um, skew asymptotes, it only has the vertical asymptote at x equals 0. And it tends to infinity, positive infinity on both sides. And it tends to positive infinity from both sides at zero. So maybe I thought I'd just add, and since, okay, so here we have the derivative, and then let's just get to sketching. Uh, so we know that the derivative here is negative, something like this maybe. Then it goes below, so we have we have two solutions, and then of course it turns around when the derivative is zero, and then it goes up to in positive infinity, and then it returns down to positive from positive infinity, um, and. Okay, of course, we could just try to plug in an f of 1 and see approximately what it is. But one could also just uh, note that um, f of x is equal to f of minus x plus 2 arctan of x. Because this thing here, or sorry, not that, but you understand. The ln part is uh, is the same for positive and negative numbers, and the arctan is symmetric, so we just add two arctan x. Uh, so, yeah, what is that? Maybe something like that. So, well, anyway, it's we know that it's greater than zero, so it doesn't really matter that much. And then it go da goes down like that and turns around and goes away. So uh, this graph here, maybe I should use a different color. Because it comes in here, and then goes up towards infinity, and then it goes down, turns around at x is equal to 1, and then goes away to positive infinity. And this, as you can see here, is approximately what the graph looks like. So we did a good job. And uh, yes, so two solutions, and it looks like that. Yeah, so that was everything. Hope you enjoyed the video, and the next problem is coming right up.